Welcome to this channel, which focuses on science, high voltage, plasma, a Tesla coil, some plastic tubing, and a tank of compressed argon gas. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make really long sparks without having to do any fancy electronics, change the, the amount of power you feed into the Tesla coil or anything like that. All you need is these three things, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. The key ingredients to get the longest sparks possible out of a small or medium-sized Tesla coil are these two items here. This tank, which contains argon gas, is key. Argon has different properties to air. So if you could take this plastic tube, I have a bag of plastic tube here, a long plastic tube, connect it to this argon tank, fill the tube up with the argon, and then put the other end of the tube to the output of your Tesla coil, you should be able to ionize all the gas in the tube to attain really long sparks. So let's test that hypothesis and see if we can do this. I'm gonna use a slightly bigger Tesla coil than the one shown here, but the same principle would apply to this smaller one as well. And I bet if it works, it would be possible to kind of see how long you could draw the tube out. Could you make it 100 feet, 200 feet? Just how long would the spark go? Well, we're not gonna test that hypothesis in this video. We're just gonna see whether this is possible to get really long discharges, continuous discharges, out of a small or medium-sized Tesla coil. Let's begin the experiment. I'm gonna show you it in slow motion so I can kind of walk you through it. Well, here's your tube connected to the output of this medium-sized Tesla coil. The spark, rather than break out into the air, goes right along the tube, which is interesting. In fact, the spark goes all the way through the tube to the output of the argon tank. This is how it looks at regular frame rate. The argon has an interesting color near the Tesla coil. Okay, here's a much uh, smaller coil. So this doesn't put out quite as much as that, that big coil with the first experiment. I have the same setup. I want to save argon, I'm running out of argon, so I put a balloon of argon on the end of the tube. So the argon in the tube is just above atmospheric pressure. And then I put a, a rubber seal on this end. And then inserted the output of that Tesla coil into this plastic tube. Let's see how this works. You can see the output shorting across where the two tubes meet at that loop. It seems that argon has some really interesting properties. The 
Electricity would rather travel through the argon as a long arc than break out into the air, which technically has a lower ionization energy than the argon. So this is really interesting. Next, let's put an argon-filled glass bottle in front of a Tesla core and see what happens. The thing that's really fascinating is that the lightning strikes prefer to hit the argon bottle and travel through the argon than to travel through the air that surrounds the argon bottle. Haven't really figured out why. It's just an interesting observation at this point. These timed exposures are really, really beautiful. The colors are amazing. This series of experiments on expanding the length of Tesla coil arcs has been really enjoyable for me. 15 foot or greater arcs, as you can see here, and didn't expect this to work so well. I hope you enjoyed the set of experiments as much as I did. I hope you come back and check out more fun experiments on this channel. Please don't forget to sub.